Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to my end of the month haul for December. First off, I want to say thank you everyone, and I uh, hope everyone's had a great New Year's. Uh, for me, it's been kind of tough. I lost my brother uh, several days ago to heart complications, so I'm trying to get over that, but I still want to give you my end of the month haul. Again, I would do the DVDs first, followed by uh, the Blu-rays. Most likely this will be a two-parter. <laughs> I won't be able to fit it all in there. So, I wasn't going to do a video last week, but with all that shit happening, I couldn't do it. And uh, so I wanted to do it now, because I feel a bit better and everything. Before everything else happens, it's going to get a little crazy again. So without further ado, let's get on with the, the haul. So I'll do a couple of the uh, um, collections first. Uh, W-Double sent this to me, which I thought was awesome. Uh, we did a little trade earlier for one particular movie, and he put this in there as well. And that is the Smell Tin of Sci-Fi Classics. This has Attack of the Crab Monsters, War of the Satellites, and Not of This Earth. I think it looks awesome with that raised eye. Now, what I didn't know about it until I actually opened it, this is a Shout Factory tin. Oops, it's over here. Right there, Shout Factory. So... When you see the Roger Corman DVDs that they have at the Shell Factory, it's actually those as well. So it's in a cool uh, tin, the way they're set up. So I like that a lot. So thank you very much, Stubby. Comes with a little sponge thing. And uh, awesome metal tin. Yeah, sci-fi classics. Now I'm filming in a different room because the sun porch where I usually film in, it's fucking cold. So therefore, not doing it. Uh, next, I couldn't pass this up. This was from Ollie's. It was only three bucks, brand new. <clears throat> it's one of those 50 packs of Legends of Heroes. Uh, it's got a shit ton of films on it. These are great to like, go on vacation with. Where you don't wanna bring a ton of movies, you just bring a fat pack with you and enjoy some classics. So yeah, Alfred Hitchcock, Vincent Price, Lon Chaney Jr., Christopher Lee, Carl Lagosi, et cetera. It was three bucks brand new at um, Ollie's. Couldn't pass it up. All right, now let's get on with the A's, all the way down to the Z's. <clears throat> uh, first one, I actually put these in alphabetical order, <laughs> so it's kind of new. I usually don't put them in alphabetical, but I did. So well, with the first movie, <clears throat> chill. excuse me, I'm not re-recording, fuck that. All right, uh, I did not know, after I bought it, there's a fucking Blu-ray of it. Uh, Terror for Tom showed it, and I'm like, really, there's a Blu-ray now? Oh well. But right now, it's, it's called Alien Trespass. Uh, great homage to the 1950s monster movies. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, the guy from... Uh, I, don't know, I remember that TV show. Eric McCormick's in it. It's got Robert Patrick. The monster's pretty cool. It's practical effects. This one-eyed tentacle creature. Big thing in the 50s where they were one-eyed tentacle monsters. That was it. So Alien Trespass. Now I'm probably have to get the Blu-ray. We'll see. I don't know if the Blu-ray is a BD, uh, burn on demand. If it is, let me know. I'll probably just hold off. Uh, next one I picked up is called The Awakened. It's a uh, creature feature, kind of. It's a alien crashes to Earth and stays dormant for like about 200 plus years. This guy decides to remove a tree stump and unearth the alien craft, which awakens these alien predator type creatures. And they go on a killing spree and start eating people. Again, sorry for the glare. Uh, mostly all practical effects, some uh, CGI, but it wasn't bad. Uh, there's some bloopers on it, which are pretty cool, and the guys are all dressed up in the alien outfits. So yeah, definitely check out The Wakened. I actually like that one. Uh, next one I finally got. I'm so happy to own it. I've been wanting this movie for quite some time, ever since it got released. And that is The Barn. This is the two disc edition which has the uh, CD-ROM on it so it comes with the video game so they it was a uh, like a fundraiser at the time then they decided to release it to say hey we have some left up for sale if anybody wants to buy them I jumped on it and bought it this movie was awesome this is gonna make it my top uh, 2016 for sure uh, very low budget but they did an awesome job the director is a big horror fan you can tell because he did some work on it. Uh, the minor, the 
killer scarecrow and the guy with a jack-o'-lantern head on his head did a fantastic job very high body count good gore uh, good storyline I love the throwback cover for, it looks like a VHS it's got all the weird stickers on it from uh, like a, if you go to a store I guess this horror on there um, it's got one of those other rental stickers this one says 666 that's funny as hell uh, it's got the not rated sticker so they're all built into the to the uh, artwork so that's awesome if you have an idea of buying the barn absolutely do it it's like a 9 out of 10 uh, next I finally got I've been after this for a while thank God Massacre Video put it out and uh, German Splatter uh, Black Past so I was happy to finally own this can't wait to give it a watch uh, of course my case came a little damaged as soon as you touch it it like opens up so it's got a reversible cover art in there uh, by Olaf Ittenbach. So yeah, Black Past. If you've seen it, let me know. Next, this was a buck, so I, had a, I couldn't pass it up. And that is the, uh, the Bible Belt Slasher. Now I have a part two from a convention. And it's supposed it came with this short story called the Bible Belt Slasher. So I don't know if this is the same one or not. I'm going to have to do like a, a Bible Belt Slasher Marathon to get the two out of the way to see if it is or not. But for a buck, couldn't pass it up. Uh, next, this was sent to me by Artsploitation called Counterclockwise. I did a review on this. Pretty cool sci-fi thriller going in the past, changing things, uh, murder. Pretty cool flick. Next, I couldn't pass this one up. It's called Dark Dealer. This is a horror anthology from 1990s. Weird anthology. Uh, some good practical effects. Um, some good CGI, actually, for a low budget. Uh, three stories. They're all... These people were playing in front of a, a blackjack dealer. And they're telling their story of how they died. Uh, one guy, he was a thief. He messes around with this old guy who happens to be like a demon thing. The next one was an old singer who overdosed, and now he's going to take this one guy's soul because he's stealing his music. And the third guy was a druggie trying to save his girlfriend from another drug lord, and again mixed up with this bad drug that turns this guy into a sphere, giant sphere-like thing, kind of like one of those electric sphere touching things, flying around zapping people, killing them. It's actually not bad. So definitely check out Dark Dealer from the 1990s. If you like anthologies, you probably like that one. Oh, I forgot to even open this. Uh, got into a, a night slasher theme. So I picked up uh, Dead of Night. This one is a slasher that involves a knight in armor. Looks like I think it takes place in a Renaissance fair or something. So can't wait to get this one to watch. If you've seen night, Dead of Night, let me know. Uh, this one was sent to me by uh, my friend Derek DeBougier, also known as DeBougier86. My first sleazebox item, and that is the uh, Descort service. I know Brandon really likes this movie. <laughs> uh, never seen it, so got to give them a watch at some point. Uh, this one was also a dollar. It's called Death's Door. Don't know anything about it. Uh, it's got... It looked interesting. I've heard some bad things about this movie, but for a buck, eh, can't beat it. Uh, next one was recommended to me by uh, Tara for Tom, and I'm so glad I listened to him and bought this movie. It's awesome, very gory. Uh, this is by Retro Media. Uh, Fred Ols Ol Olden Ray did it. I got a bunch of his films, and this one's great. It's called Dino Wolf. If you're familiar with the movie Cemetery Gates, how gory that is. This is just like that. Uh, pretty much they're working on dino DNA and mix it with a wolf. So they got like this werewolf type thing going around, but it's not already a werewolf. It is a dude in a wolf outfit, but he tears people apart. This is very gory. Uh, high body count, a lot of blood. I love this movie. Even though if you look, you see the bad uh, costume, who fuck cares? It's great. Highly recommend Dino Wolf, if you guys haven't seen it. Get it. Uh, next, this is the one that W Double sent to me when I did a trade with him. I sent him a DVD of hardware, and he sent me Mondo Macabro's Don't Open Till Christmas. I needed this for my Christmas horror, and uh, great flick. 
finally have it in my collection. I've seen it before, but eh. Uh, next is, I actually really enjoyed this series. That's called the Dresden Files. Very short-lived. Uh, I wish it lasted longer than the short run about a wizard uh, trying to solve murder mysteries and everything. I like the gloss. <laughs> but it was actually really well done. The guy who plays Dresden, if you remember, he is the, uh, if you've seen Arrow, he's the, the, the sheriff, not the sheriff, but he's the, uh, you know, he's the, he's the main cop in Arrow. But Dresden Files, pretty cool uh, series. I got it dirt cheap. It started going back up in price. Uh, and it would drop down in price and go back up in price. So I finally saw it drop for like $7.99. I grabbed it for three discs. Why not? Because now it's back up. Another dollar pickup. Don't know anything about. So it's called Eyes of the Woods. Looks like a creature feature right up my alley. So if you've seen this one, let me know. Uh, looks pretty cool. Again, for a dollar. Meh. Not complaining. Next, I can finally cross this one off my list. I've been after this one forever. And it's always out of print. It's out of print. And I finally found it for a way good price. For even under $18. Uh, it's Gamera the Brave. The Blu-ray itself is insanely out of print. <laughs> that thing's going for like $40, $50, $70, $70. Up dollars. This is by going in the 40s range, but I love my kaiju type films, and uh, I had all the other Gamera movies except for this one. So I finally now own Gamera the Brave in my collection. I don't care if they're all on Blu-ray and this is the DVD. Hey, gotta give it what you get. Uh, again, this is Tokyo Shock, so you got uh, their company right there. It's always out of, hard to find stuff, and excuse me, I gotta give this one a watch. And I've seen every single Gamera movie, but now I'm just happy to own it. Finally, in my collection. Uh, for Christmas, my wife bought me this one. It's awesome. It's called Ice Sharks. <laughs> Again, sorry for the glare. It takes place in the Arctic, where these sharks are swimming through the ice and snow and attacking this uh, research facility. It's a sci-fi channel movie, but it was fun as hell. It's one of those ones where you just want to goof around and just... Uh, Veg, yes, ice sharks. Uh, another documentary I picked up. This was really dirt cheap. So why not? It's called uh, John Carpenter. Uh, Fear is just the beginning. The man and his movies. Uh, this one is pretty much a lot of interviews with John Carpenter, and it has a lot of different scenes from different films. As here's the scene selection right here. You can see those are all the films that it goes through. There are some that are missing, but when the movie came out, for those who cares, that's awesome. Want to add that to the collection? If anybody's seen it, let me know. John Carpenter. Another Buck movie. <clears throat> I actually had a downgrade because my Blu-ray never worked. It made my uh, Blu-ray player freeze, so I picked up the DVD version of Jug Face. I've heard really good things about it. I go to watch. All right, K's <laughs> Killer Rack. Yes, Killer Boobs. Um, I actually watched this the other night. This is goofy. It's fun. Uh, very homage to like H.P. Lovecraft films. The doctor's name is Kate Cthulhu. Come on, Cthulhu. Uh, she gets this breast implants that are, turn out to be these monsters, and they go on a killing spree and eating people. Yes, Killer Rack. Highly recommend it. It's from Cap Motion Pictures. Great comedy, a lot of fun, laughs and everything, a lot of boob jokes. <laughs> uh, next I picked up is called uh, Kill Command, another killer robot. I know Tom and I talked about it, so I had to definitely pick it up at Walmart. Why not? Told you I wanted a killer night flick. Uh, this one is called uh, Night Chills. This one is about a bunch of people role playing. And this one guy kind of, you know, they pick on him and uh, the girl he likes doesn't like him, you know, all that deal. I guess he gets, he kills himself and summons a black knight to go on a killing spree. And um, this is brain damage or no, vision factory. I don't know who, what vision factory is, but I said, man, why not? I got a couple of killing, killer knife fix. Let's add another one to the list. <clears throat> Krampus, uh... Unleashed, I guess, 
This just looked funny as hell, so I had to pick it up from Polka Doll Walmart. Finally grabbed for my collection, uh, The Man with the Screaming Brain, Bruce Campbell, the old Anchor Bay edition. When I bought it on eBay, I asked the person if this was an old Anchor Bay, and they are like, what do you mean? I'm like, does it have a boat in the back, a boat on the side? <laughs> they said, yes, I got it for three bucks. So I was very happy to pick up this Bruce Campbell flick. Uh, my wife also, also for Christmas bought me Munchies. Oops, I'm sorry for the glare. Uh, another cool little creature, killer creature movie, comedy. Uh, very, happy, very happy to have this in my collection, Munchies. And she also bought me uh, Quicksilver Highway. Uh, two short stories by Stephen King and uh, Clive Barker. Christopher Lloyd's telling the two stories. One is about a killer uh, mechanical teeth, and then one's about the killer hands. So yeah, finally glad to have Quicksilver Highway in the collection. I think it was a made-for-TV movie, so I was very happy to finally add it. Uh, next I picked up is uh, Siren. This one is based off um, VHS, the first move, first concept where the lady was this creature that attacked the guys during the party. Well, now she's got her full-length movie. I don't know if it's like a mermaid slash siren creature thing, but I have to give it a watch. Looks pretty good. That story on VHS was awesome, so I'm glad they made a full movie. Yeah, and last of the dollar movies. <laughs> it's called uh, Starleaf. This one is like an alien creature in a uh, forest, and uh, there's a pot farm growing in there. So this, I don't know if this alien's protecting the pot farm or it's all high and killing people. <laughs> I don't know. It looks pretty cool. And again, for a buck, can't beat that. I've seen this in everyone else's collection, so I had to grab it. And that is uh, The Trail of Dracula. This is brought by uh, Intervision. This is a kind of like a documentary on Dracula and all the different type of films from Bram Stoker's all the way up to like John Carradine, Bela Lugosi everything on that it's also got uh, interviews tons of trailers it says it has 94 minutes of Dracula movie trailers that's awesome so it'll be fun to like play on a background TV during like Halloween so yeah bunch of trailers documentaries that's awesome and last for the DVDs I finally got this to add to my collection I've been after this for a while forgot about it and said nope grab it now and that is the horror anime of Wicked City. Uh, this one is fantastic uh, horror anime. Pretty much, this is the special edition. This is the uh, actually the out of. This one is out of print, so it's a little harder to find. It got re-released again, but it doesn't have all the special features to it. So I had to grab the special feature edition one. Uh, pretty much, it's got the cops from us, and there is like the void world where demons and things live in this altered reality while well, decide to make a peace treaty between the two and uh, a cop from each uh, facility was going to help each other out to protect the ambassador and of course the dark side is not with it and they send all these different type of monsters and demons to take care of everybody and kill everybody off pretty cool anime you got like this one girl uh, the guy's having sex with her and she turns into a like a spider her vagina actually grows teeth she grows legs on the side oh it's f fucking weird but it's a great horror anime guys if you've never seen wicked city highly recommend grabbing this one it's a lot of fun great horror anime for the movie all right guys that is my dvd haul for december of 2016 and i'll be working on the blu-ray section next all right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please put your comments down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Peace.